Hey everybody, it's Kevin from Flying Star Productions, here to review Homefront. Now, this game's, like, you know, pretty new, um, so I figured I'd review it. Okay, let's start with the campaign. Um, extremely short, actually. It's only six chapters, and the story behind the campaign is really interesting, but I don't think the campaign really went to the max on how they tell the story. But the multiplayer, on their hand, this is really fun, actually. It's, you know, there's a lot of customization. It's fun to play with your friends. But if you don't have internet connection, it's not going to be an interesting game for people who just play the campaign for games. Because you're going to get bored. Because I beat the campaign within three hours. And it's a six-hour long campaign, apparently. But if you just sit down and play it on, like, the medium difficulty, you can beat it within three hours. Now, the gameplay. Well... The story mode, anyway, it's basically take cover, shoot, throw a grenade, they're done, move on. Which isn't really interesting for, like, gameplay, because it just gets really boring at some points. But then other times, it's really exhilarating and fun. The really boring part are, well, is, when you walk, you walk, like, halfway through the game. Like, half, half of the game is pretty much just walking through places and you can't shoot anybody which is understandable but you know you kind of wish you could run because you walk so slow and then you gotta walk like really long and talk to everybody and then it's like okay and you gotta wait for the AI to continue first like you can't go in front of them because it's really set up weird and then you pretty much just do the it repeats the whole process over again so this game interest level isn't really it's not it doesn't it doesn't hold you in like it should like any game should actually it just gets boring just about like halfway through and you're like well should I finish it should I not and then I decided to finish it which you know I you know I wasn't like impressed by it as I thought it would be I just thought it was way too short and they they could have done more but most of you know mostly it's like uh, destroy this find this person and pretty much it. Now the knifing, the knifing's awesome in this game. Just like a little, little jab, and you're, you know, the guy's finished. And you always hit it. It's not like Call of Duty where you lunge and you miss. Which I don't know if that's either good or bad. It must be more realistic because you hit, you hit the guy every single time you knife. Now trophy-wise, well, I have to say, it's that's even bad. I mean, usually trophies are interesting, but. Not in this game. They're pretty much your basic beat it on any difficulty, beat it on the hardest difficulty, and then each chapter has its own two specific uh, trophies. And those really aren't interesting. It's like kill 25 people this way, talk to everybody, um, kill 25 people this way. And it, it's nothing that really sticks out. And that's what makes the game lose its interest, pretty much. And. I'm going to have to give this game a 7.5 out of 10 because it's just not interesting enough for me to buy. But the multiplayer, I have to say, is pretty top-notch. Hey, if you guys like Assassin's Creed videos, I got your fix. Uh, my subscriber slash friend, uh, his name's Andrus. Go check out his channel. He's got plenty of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood videos, uh, multiplayer-wise. Um, he does also uh, multiplayer for Black Ops and, you know, a zombie video here and there. And, um... It's pretty good uh, Assassin's Creed videos and Black Ops videos. If you guys want to see more Assassin's Creed videos, you can uh, check back to our channel within the week. And we'll be uploading some Brotherhood multiplayer. And I hope that goes over well. But without further ado, I'm Kevin from Flying Star Productions. I'll see you guys later.